Hey Lanza Army and welcome back to another YouTube video and as you can see from the title of today's video we are reviewing the Identity 42 colour palette from Beauty Bay. Um, I had to spend my points on this, my dear beloved 1800 points. Literally this palette may be worth it or may not be, I've used it once. Um, so <clears throat> for the second and third time because I'll be doing two different looks. I want to see how we act. I want to use as many colours as possible. Anyway, guys, let's roll into a motherfucking intro and get straight into the video. Okay, guys, so as I always do at the start of a video, I always prime. With my P. Louise base, which already likes to get stuck right at the bottom of this stupid pot. Um, you guys know when I review a product, nine times out of ten, I like to just use that product. Whether that product is foundation, whether it's highlight, whether it's contour. Well, highlight and contour, no. It have to do a full face for that. Um, but if it's a foundation, you know, I do that. I don't do my eyes normally. But anyway, we have to use the P. Louise base. I will show one eye with the P. Louise base and one eye without the P. Louise base if you guys want. Or actually, I will do a video on that pretty, 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 pretty soon. Um, but guys, it is Monday. I am against the clock on this. So, um, <clears throat> I'm going to try and not rush. But rush at the same time, if that makes sense. No, I know it doesn't. So let's just go anyway. Um, I think for today's look, I am going to need this sort of beauty blender to blend down and the penalties base. So we use the bottom of the beauty blender, dab some on, and then we blend it out. Now, normally, what would I use? I would use a flat brush, wait, because that's dry. Um, so it looks like we are going to have to use a flat brush after all. Um, so we are using the M166 from Morphe. Which is so flat, you might as well call it Pancake Day. Uh, oh, pardon me. Literally, I love eyeshadow. Love doing eyeshadow for people who say I can't do makeup. Mm, you're wrong. Um, literally, then you are so wrong. I'll just start with my brow. I might also get my brows done again soon. Like I try to get them done like every month for two. And I say two. Because sometimes my brows don't grow back for like two months. Because they get waxed. So they have to start from the um, hair follicle again. <clears throat> but yeah, we are taking our time blending this in. Because if this don't blend... The eyeshadow won't blend. <clears throat> well, not even blending it, but just applying it. Um, so <clears throat> this is the palette. Do not ask why it has one to seven here, and then it has base, transition, crease, liner, pop, highlight. So if I was going to say five highlight, no, just don't work. Oh, you couldn't even see it. It just don't fucking work, like. <clears throat> That's one thing about it I don't get. Like, I'd use a lot of the base shades for my crease and a lot of transition shades for my crease, a lot of the liner shades for my lid, um, some of the highlighter shades for my inner corner. Like, <clears throat> no, mm -mm. I'm not all here for this full purpose bullshit palette, you know? So that's the first thing I don't like about it. So we're off to a really good start here, guys. Um, Like, we have no shade names as well. And this palette's normally £24. So, with no shade names, eat my ass. Um, but we are going to dip into this pink one first. 
looks it does look cute i have used this pink one before and it was such a nice pink um and now all i'm going to do is literally tap it on of course we're going to blend it out but first i just wanted to get it onto the lid and now we are going in with the m5 m456 just to blend out this pink shade So I don't really blend out here because that will just move, but literally I can just move the excess. You guys know me. Like, if I don't like some I will say it as it is. But this palette is mm, that's what I'm going to give it so far, even though I've only used one colour. Um, if you guys have tried more than one Beauty Bay palette, please put it in the comments below how they are, what they are like, are they good? Because I've tried this palette, used it once, um, uh, don't really like it, but you know, we move. Um, now we're going to cut the crease. <clears throat> before, before people say, I said cut the crease, not cut the release. Um, but... <clears throat> What we do is we grab micellar water on a Q-tip. And we literally swipe up. Now we are going to get all of that um, product off the lid because we need to add new product anyway. Then we are left with our pink swishy, wishy, washy um bit let's call it <clears throat> um so now we need more pillowies <clears throat> now this bit i do recommend using a flat brush doesn't matter how thick the brush is use a flat brush because you will see in a sec what i'm about to do so, what we are going to do is we are going to grab our P. Louise base on a flat brush. We do not want shed loads. We start from where the pink is and we pull it down. And you can like sketch out. But whatever you do, do not get a beauty blender. Unless you are a hundred percent sure it is going to work, because with my like my hands, they don't really shake. Um, but I would definitely not be confident. Like, and this is for everyone, whether you're a professional or not, would not be confident trying to blend it out with this either side. Because of our crease. So, with whatever product we've got left of the brush, we'll just put it here. If you have done your eyes already on this side, like if you've already put the concealer on or product, let's call it not concealer. Um, then we're going to go in with a smaller flat brush but quite you know small bristles and quite it's not dense like soft <clears throat> and we are going to pick any shimmery color well not any it's pink so i will go with let's see let's go with this one because i like this one I'm the one who run the city with the arm, the vicious. And as you're going to see now, we're just going to do what we've done with 
the product of the P. Louise base. We're not going to grab it at a, at a time. We're not using a big brush to rush and pack it on. We are just using the M, is that the M152 and gently going across and down, back up, across. When you're not a product, one, two, three into the palette and then we're going to go back down and keep repeating that until you get to the end. Then if there's any like blank spaces, do not worry about getting glitter on the pink because we can sort that out. Um, but I have not got glitter on the pink yet. But my eyebrows are going back, so I will have to get them sorted soon. Um, I hate messy brows. It's just something like that. Um, if you really, really, really wanted to, you could bring this out to there, but it can just end up looking quite messy. Furthest I'll bring it out to is where the pink, you see here where you got that little arch of the pink, if you want to bring it out to there, be more than happy to, but any further, unless you're an actual makeup artist, like, Bringing it out any further won't really work unless you can make it work. Um, and I think I said that for, well, let's say qualified makeup artists. <laughs> because James Charles and Jeffree Star are makeup artists, but they don't have no qualifications. But we just don't want to talk about oh crap. Um, anyway, we're moving on to this eye. So, literally, if I look at the time of this, I talk... I want to say about 11 minutes, but that's because I'm having a lot of precision. I'm concentrating as well. Okay, guys, and we are back, back, back again, 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 again. So I just need to get my mirror on. Literally, I do love this eye. And we are going to slip some lashes on. But they can wait. Um, we're not doing pink. We're going to go for some nude. Um, I do really want to do the same look, but, but, but I'm going out, but I have told you guys what I'm doing, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to it. Um, so, we do one sort of like, no, I don't want that brush yet. Here we go. This is the M433. I always know when I'm picking this brush up now. So, we're going straight with a blending brush. Um, I did want to do this look again, but I thought you guys would get bored, so we're just going to go straight with a blender brush and do what we're going to do, okay? Oh, crap! Um, we're going to go in with, like, this light brown shape, like, chocolate brown. Um, it is such a lovely shade. Um, I do like to go as high to my brow as possible. You can see where that shade's going like now like i did say it is a chocolate brown sort of light shade so so <sighs> no um i don't know whether some of these shades are buildable but i definitely know <laughs> this shade is but i can't really class it as some because it is only one um now i am doing sort of like a different eye look um I want to go for a different shape and everything. Um, I do also just want to grab another brush. It doesn't matter. Like, it has to be a blending brush, of course. So, we are grabbing the M562, which is a sort of a blender brush. We'll call it one anyway. We're going to grab the darkest brown in there. You do not need that much. And I just want it on the outer corner. You know, blending it out. That was not a right choice of brush at all. Um, here's one. M433. Yep. Yeah. I always know when I'm picking up one of them brushes now. Um, so first off, what we'll do is we're just gonna pack it on 
And then we're gonna blend it. Out our, um, if you've never seen Will I Am's and Nicki Minaj's song, check it out music video, you won't get the idea of that. Anyway, of course, that are some cleanups to do. So I'll get my trusty micellar water. Yes, I'll put it in here. Don't ask why, because it just goes everywhere now. Um, and before you say, guys, water doesn't make bubbles. Um, and just gonna cut that. We're not even cutting it, but you know, to make a different shape. Um, I really do just want to try and wrong hand, man. Ugh. Try and like blend. Um, and then we're gonna have to cut the police. I really want to do a half cut crease because I have not done one in so long. I'm going to get rid of half of this though. Uh, oh, pardon me. Um, we've already got some pillowies, so we're gonna grab it on our brush, and this is the same as before. But this time, we've got to be more careful because we're not going all the way, we're only going to here. Um, guys, can we also have prayers for? My stepmom, even though I don't like her, but she might have cancer. So she's gone in for some checks and she called the doctor. The doctor told her to call 999. That's how serious it is. So can we please have some prayers for my stepmom? Um, yeah. Thank you, guys. Um, so back to what we're actually doing. Sorry, I did just want to slip that in there because, yeah. Uh, you know, I do want as many prayers as possible. No one deserves that, whether how much they've said to you or whether they haven't said that much to you, you know. Um, <clears throat> now, we are going to try and... <clears throat> we are going to try and <clears throat> match the colours with... This so I do see one, two, three, three nude shimmers. Um, I'm probably gonna go for this one. Now, this brush is very small, so it could go back, and it's not very dense as well. Like, it won't do a lot. Whereas, this brush is very, very small. Literally, I could do this a lot quicker in two times less time. But yeah, um, when the last time I cut this video, which was about 6 minutes and 57 seconds ago, my nan called me and told me the news. <sighs> so... Yeah. Um, I don't you guys think I'm making this up because there's a lot of, there's a lot of shit that goes on online where people are like, oh my god, just making it up for attention. If I wanted attention I would definitely not make up something serious like that, but sure, you believe me, you believe me. If you don't, you don't. It'd be your loss when you see videos of my stepmom's funeral, but Literally loving this eye. Um, let me go and clean it all up. Pop two lashes on.
Okay, guys, so my thoughts on this are the matte colours are so blendable. They blend so much and, like, like the proof is in the art. Um, whereas the shimmers, mm, they blend, but they look a lot more shimmery in the palette than they actually do on the eye. Um, I would like them to be a lot more shimmery. I would like, I would like some that's more workable because Be Beauty Bay don't, not one palette has just bright colours. It's either just bright, I mean, it's either just nudes or nudes and bright. So I want a full palette with bright colours. The only, only palette that has ever, ever done that is the Joel Bread palette by Jeffree Star. Um, whether you guys like Jeffree Star or not, that's none of my business, but don't bring it onto this channel. Um, but that is the only ever palette I have seen with no nudes. Because I like my colour, like, so much. I do like my nudes now. Oh, I love nudes. Um, but not as, still not as much as I like colour. Still not as much as I like colour. Anyway, guys. I love you guys. Okay, guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching this YouTube video. If you didn't just video, please get a huge thumbs up. If you did not, please get a huge thumbs down. Or actually just tell me why you did not enjoy this video. Also, guys, if you want to follow me on my um, makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram, which is standards makeup XOXO. And that is it. Also, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay amazing, stay beautiful, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.